Hi, I'm Mike Cameron, and I'd like to share with you a great add-on called Blend AR MoCap. In order to download the Blend AR MoCap add-on, uh, you need to go to the location which I've listed um, below and uh, download the zip file. Once you've done that, you need to open up Blender as an administrator. That is, you need to use the right mouse button on the Blender icon and scroll down to run as administrator and open it up. Then you need to go to uh, Preferences under Edit and install the add-on. Um, by clicking the install button and searching for your add-on and uh, opening up that zip file. Once you've done that, you need to go to uh, the zip file that you opened, checkbox, the development Blend AR mocap, open it up and install the dependencies that need to be installed in order for the add-on to work. And once you've done that, uh, you'll see true at all the install uh, preferences, the dependencies, and uh, the install dependencies button will be grayed out. Okay, now you're ready to uh, run Blend AR MoCap. So I've already installed it and you can find the add-on in your um, right-hand side in the, in the menus under Blend AR MoCap. Once you open that up, you'll see um, all the um, controls in order to use your um, add-on. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, first, you need to detect your motion that you're going to be capturing um, with your webcam. And then you need to transfer the animation. So the type that you want usually is stream. You have a choice between that and actually importing a movie and getting motion capture from that. Your webcam device slot is usually zero. And we're gonna start with the key step of eight for the full body pose. And we're gonna capture the full body. I already have my character rigged with, uh, with a Rigify rig and all set up and ready for motion capture. What I'd like to do is uh, make the interface smaller so that I can see um, the webcam side by side with my interface. And now I'm ready to do the motion capture. So let's start the detection and you'll see the webcam open up And now you see the camera, the webcam actually detecting my movements and it's able to detect my pose for the full body, which is pretty amazing because it's just using a webcam to do that and the interaction is in real time. Okay, let's stop that. And now we're going to transfer that animation to our character. So in order to do that, you need to pick the drivers, um, the correct drivers um, for our transfer. And that's CGT pose because we're using our full body pose. And we're going to use the rig 
that's set right there to transfer to. Okay, uh, we're gonna use transfer legs experimental and overwrite any drivers that might've been recorded before. And now you just press transfer animation and the animation has been transferred to my character. Okay, there's a bit of a bug in um, this release that's um, changing the um, knee joint from where it should be. But that's a simple fix. You go to where the uh, constraint is for that um, bone, and let's just disable that. And you can see now it's correctly positioned for the knee. And now let's scroll through and take a look at the animation. So you can see um, it captured my motion. Let's expand that a little bit. Um, it captured my full body motion. And so it recorded about 1400 frames, 1500 frames. And that is uh, pretty amazing that we've been able to record that in such a short amount of time. Um, let's change the view a little bit so we get we get better framing for the camera. And now that we've done the full body capture, why don't we uh, do hand capture in order to uh, connect that with the full body. I'm just going to do some real simple um, movement of the hand so you can see how it can capture the hand motion. In order to do that, I'm going to change the key step down to four so we can get more detailed movement for each fourth frame instead of each eighth frame. And then we're gonna pick hands for the detection. Now, when I start the detection, it's going to detect my hands in the, in the uh, webcam. So I'm just doing some real simple moves. And now I'm gonna stop the detection. and then change the drivers to the hands drivers. Same, same rig. And now I'm in pose mode, so it's not recognizing uh, the drivers until I switch to object mode again. I just had to edit that knee. Now we're ready to transfer the animation and there it is, the animation's just been transferred. So um, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see how the animation has worked. Let's go back to the first frame that's been recorded and we'll scroll through so you can see that there is hand motion on the fingers. Um, at this point, you need to uh, capture the hands and the body and the head separately. Um, and you can see, as I scroll later on in the animation, that there's an issue with the um, wrist. Um, this can also be um, fixed pretty easily by rotating the hands correctly in the pose mode. 
Um, because as, as you can see, we're able to motion capture the full body and now the hands. Okay, that's great. Now let's capture the head movement and see how that works. In order to do that, you have to switch the target to, to a face. And I'm going to switch back to object mode. And now I can start the detection of the head. Um, right now, you can detect the head movement and also some of the expression of the face, uh, like the mouth open and uh, the eyebrows uh, and the eyes opening and closing. But hopefully in the future, there'll be an easier way to animate the full face and incorporate that into our capture. Okay, so let's stop that detection. And now we'll switch the drivers to face same rig and transfer that animation. Okay, you can see the head has moved and now we're getting movement in the head. Uh, so here we go. We have um, the full body uh, and hands and head animated and that's just with one webcam. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Uh, once you have this set up, uh, you can switch the rig with other characters and uh, create your content with, um, with this great add-on. So um, thanks for take, taking a look. I hope you download the add-on and uh, thanks for watching.